Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this chrome-like old-school text effect inside Microsoft Word. And since this tutorial will require more steps, I may split it into half into two parts. In the first part, I will show you how to create this chrome text effect. The second part will be about all the other stuff like the background, the grid below the text, you know, the noise over the text and all that stuff. So without any much talking, let's get started. We will start with the blank document and I will insert a new text shape. So I select insert shapes text shape. I will type in Chrome and I will change the font to be code bold and size 150 points. I made resize the text box a little bit for the text to fit. I will also change the alignment to center. It will be easier to align it on the page and the format for the actual text box to have no fill and no outline. Then I will zoom out a little bit more and try to position it around the center of the page like this. I will zoom in again and then I will change the color of the text to be white for now and the background uh, color of the page to be black. So I will jump to design ribbon and change the page color to black. As a first part we will try to add a new a nice gradient and outline to the text. So I will right click the text box and select format shape and in the text options we may probably start with the outline so i will set no fill just so we can see the outline as much as we can and for the text outline i will select gradient fill now it kind of looks wrong that may be a problem with the font or maybe word itself but if we jump to ribbon home and open the font properties and enable the kerning it will solve this issue so if i enable kerning you can see we have the right font Anyway, the kerning should be enabled all the time, so it shouldn't be a problem. So for the gradient itself, we want the gradient to be white all the time, but with a different amount of transparency. It will be the most visible on the top, going uh, fading around the center, and then we will have a little bit of gradient going from the bottom. So I will change all the stops to be white, like this, and just play with the transparency. So the first one, which is on the top, could be zero it could be fully opaque not transparent at all the middle one could be maybe around i don't know 50 or 40 or so then the next one will be a little bit less transparent maybe 20 so there is a little bit of transition in between and again and finally the last one will be maybe around 20 maybe this one will be a little bit less oh, sorry a little bit more transparent so we have a little bit of more transparency around here and then like a bottom light going from the from the bottom which is this one i have to move it more to the left because it's not actually drawing from the bottom of the text but a little bit below this text okay i kind of like this uh, gradient we may tweak it in the future a little bit what i will do right now is i will just change the width to be maybe one and a half points so it's more visible and we can jump to the main gradient for the text so for the text fill, I will again change it to gradient fill and immediately we get the very same looking gradient as was used for our fill. We don't actually need it, so we will tweak it a little bit. What we want to do is we want to have a very strong transition in the middle going from white to black. This will be the most visible transition. So for both stops, I will set the transparency to zero. We don't need any transparency. One stop will be white, the other will be black. And now what we need to do is to have as strong transition as possible, which means that for the gradient itself, we have to have those two stops as close to as, you know, each other as possible. So I will try to move the black one closest as I can the, uh, to the white one. So something like this looks fine. Then I will add more colors. I will maybe add blue from the top, like the reflection of the sky and pink from the bottom, just because, you know, it, commonly used for text effects like this so i will add another stop in here that will be maybe some blue color so i will open some uh, custom colors and maybe choose this one and for the bottom one i may choose the pink one i don't know maybe maybe this one maybe i may add another one which will be a little bit of lighter pink like this and maybe I can do the same up here. Maybe not. We will see. You know, it's a process. The process of uh, creating text effect often requires that we will go back to the 
previously done effects and just tweak it until we are satisfied. For now I think this looks fine and we can move to the next step. So the next step, actually the next few steps require that we will copy this text box and add few more effects on top of each other. So if we stack multiple effects we will get more realistic results because usually you will not only get few highlights like this, you will get much more highlights and much more variations over the text. So what I will do is I will select this text box and I will copy and paste it and move it over the original one. Then I may also open the selection pane and hide the old one so we are only working on the, on, the, on the top one. I will change the text fill to be no fill because we just want to play with the outline and we have to find some different settings which will get, uh, give us as random results as possible. That could be achieved for example by changing the type to be path. It will not actually be drawn as a path over the text but it will give us some interesting strong transitions over the text. So I, what I will do is I will just add a few more stops which will be white color and again I will play with transparency to hide some of those parts maybe like this. You can see we want we want to some some elements to be still visible but because we will be stacking multiple highlights multiple outlines on top of each other it's better that those are not d that visible so we will not end up with solid white outline. So I may play with the transparency of the individual stops to make them a little bit less visible. Maybe like this. Okay, so we have a kind of random outline. We may copy and paste this text box one more time and do something different or something a little bit more different. But again, still playing with the outline. So I will hide the second one keep only this one visible and maybe I will change the compound type to maybe the double line. Then what I can do is I probably can raise the width so we can see both lines maybe up to four and a half or so points and again I will make this just a little bit different so we have a variation and maybe I will play with transparency even more so only few parts will be visible with this gradient. Seems like we are getting a strong highlight over this letter M. Let's see if we can change it. I don't know what part would be used, so I have to try to play with each tab. It may be this one. Okay, so I will fade in this one and maybe I will emphasize other parts. I know this may be kind of boring to watch, but what we are trying to do is we are trying to highlight some of those parts of those letters, but at the same time not end up with a solid white outline. So as you can see, a transparency for each of the stops is pretty high, but when we will show all the different text objects or text boxes, you will notice that it's actually giving us a very nice result. Okay, I kind of like this one. So what I will do is I will quickly try to show all three text objects. So we have this text object with a gradient and solid outline. This is like a base object. Then we have a, another text object which has the outline defined as a path, which gives us few more random highlights. Then here we have more crazy highlight with the double line, which gives us another, you know, crazy highlights around here. And I think that we can make the highlight even bigger, so I will duplicate this one one more time. Move it to the almost same position. Like this. I will hide all the other text boxes and what I will do now is I may set the compound time to be just one line, but maybe the dash type could be, I don't know, the last one, which is kind of crazy looking shape, just because I have this uh, our list type to set the path I may change it back to linear so it's a little bit less confusing maybe just do a similar gradient as was used for the original one like this one fade it on the bottom this will give us you know some random circles that may act as a highlight as well. Right now it looks kind of strange, but when I show all the different parts, you'll notice it doesn't look bad at all. 
that's just because it's everything is combined together seeing it like this i may try to add one more outline which will go outside the letters and in order to do this i of course have to duplicate one of those text boxes and i may duplicate the first one so i'll duplicate the first one i'll move it to the same position and i will actually move it below all the other text shapes i will change the fill to be no fill sorry for the text object uh, text option i will set the fill to be no fill and for the outline i will use a simple trick of using the compound type to be this double line thin thick and raising the width like this so the thick line will be inside the letters in here so that will be covered by the word itself but the thin line is actually outside so i think that something around eight points works fine then i may fade it with the gradient so it's more visible in the middle and less visible around the edges so i may change this to from linear to radial from center and i will m use a very simple gradient going from white to white the left white is not transparent at all at all the right one will be transparent to maybe i don't know maybe 80 or so percent like this maybe the left one will be transparent a little bit as well so if i show all the different parts you can see we have a chrome like effect already with a lot of highlights and a lot of random parts around the edges that's actually what we, we were looking for so i guess that should be it for the today's part the tomorrow or on the next tutorial we will try to add a few more highlights and the other elements like the background the star field a little bit of noise and of course the great below the text before we end this tutorial i have to say what i forgot to say in the beginning and that is that the main inspiration for this tutorial comes from this ad chrome text effect which is actually a photoshop preset i will put the link in the description and so that's it for today thanks for watching